BTMReview.com here with episode 27. Uh, we're going to talk about some interesting uh, interesting stuff here. We're going to talk a little racism. We're going to get real. We're going to bring it all down to a serious level here. Uh, reportedly, there was a... You know more about the story than I do, Zach, but tell us about the gentleman that was accusing Mario Maker of being racist. I think it involves a Caucasian hand. <laughs> Fill us in. Well... A journalist over at Business Insider named Ben Gilbert. That nerd! (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Gilbert. He he claimed that the game was racist because of the skin color of the hand in the game. Grasping for straws, aren't we, Gilbert? (laughs) Now, is is the hand actually in the game? I was assuming the hand was just there for advertising. I thought thought he was just talking about the advertisement, just being the, the Caucasian hand. Well, I get, well apparently maybe maybe it's like some kind of tutorial oh going on God. and there's a hand, but apparently he Here's a good way to think about it, Gilbert. I think you're the racist for assuming that it's a Caucasian hand. <laughs> you didn't ever think about that this game was made in Japan? Yeah. Like maybe that's a Japanese hand. Yeah. Do they not maybe. have a right to make it a Japanese hand? Yeah, they have the right. I mean, this sounds like the biggest fucking tomfoolery. Yeah. News bit I've ever heard in my life. I feel dirty for even talking about it. I feel shamed for even giving this guy any attention. What was this guy's angle exactly? Who is this guy? What does he have to gain from such publicity? Yeah. What what does he have to gain? Who is he? Ben Gilbert. What would Ben Gilbert I'm gonna call him Gilby or the Gilb? What would he have to gain? Like who is this guy? I climbed higher than before, Gilbert. <laughs> well, ser- seriously. He's a developer? Professional journalist. Okay. With, in air quotes. Professional journalist. So he's probably a freelance asshole blogger or something. Does he actually yeah. work for a big publication? I wonder if he's just trying to... Is he trying to get attention drawn to like his shitty blog or something? Journalist at, at Business Insider. Okay. There's got to be something, man. It's just a desperate... It's absolutely stupid, man. You could, yeah. it, it sounds to me like this guy's got some sort of quota. And it's been a slow news week. So they're pulling the fucking... That's why we're talking about it. That's what I'm saying. We're getting sucked into Gilbert's little fucking trap. (laughs) This is exactly what Gilbert wants, so I think maybe we should shut this down right now. (laughs) Fuck that guy. But what's funny, I guess, is uh, right in the game, you can go to preferences and change the hands or something. Okay, so what's the problem, Gilbert? He just wanted... He wanted people to get mad or something, I guess. Fucking stupid, man. That's absolutely stupid. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know how long this podcast can go on for. Cause it's just gonna be me calling Gilbert a dum dum for the. Next well, that's why he's a genius. He's like, man, there's nothing going on in gaming news. What's he look like, I man? Sh- does he got glasses? He coke bottle rimmed? He got little. He's got sidewalls. I think he does have black, <laughs> black glasses. He's got he, I think he's bald. Bald. So I, how do I call that? I've never seen this guy in my life. His name's fucking <laughs> Gilbert. Does he wear a? Uh, is is he dressed like the bow tie killer from Problem Child? Yeah, he's got a pretty much. fucking little plaid shirt and a little bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't we know. We can eat smiley pies till we drop. <laughs> I, I haven't had a smiley pie in 15 years. Telly me. Telly me. Come on, Kate. We'll have some <laughs> real kicks. Yeah, kicks. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that movie's awesome. <laughs> you told me you love me. You called me a little what? kumquat. Get away from me. But see, that's why he's so genius is because there's nothing going on in like gaming news. So he knew that a podcast... Would have to be dr- grasping at straws to find something to talk about that they would pick his well, he's stupid fucking story. Stupid because here we are. <laughs> we'd rather talk about Problem Child. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're we're totally getting off the topic of even video games because this is just stupid, man. It's dumb. I wish people would just quit making these weak ass attempts to get publicity because it's dumb, man. Yeah. Like I said, it. Why does it even have to be a white hand? It's good Japanese, maybe. Yeah. It's absolutely stupid. It's, it's it's like what Anita Sarkeesian tried to do with the uh, with the Doom violence or whatever. And screw her too, man. It's absolutely stupid. It's just it's and people too many people eat out of that chick's hand too, and yeah. you know too many people support her and and we actually talked about that and it's one it's on the lost episode that Skynet took the lost episode that Skynet took. <laughs> we talked about her and it got deleted and I I took it as a sign. Um, that, that we should some, never talk about Yeah, her. that we should never ever speak of her name. But since we brought her up again, that means this is going to get fucking deleted. Skynet's <laughs> listening. I think you just <laughs> doomed this fucking podcast, Zach. Probably. But anyway, it's dumb. She's dumb. Gilbert's dumb. 
and eh, why can't why 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 spread the negativity and like i said if anything that guy sounds racist to me does the yeah. did, maybe they should have painted the hand yellow for it to get the point across to him that was probably yeah. japanese because that's the way and, he sees and it's something so like innocent like mario maker really like why would you even do this for god's sakes the japanese made an italian plumber yeah why they would know, you ever even they know they, 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 they know no boundaries they're just trying to it's one world you know it's fine <laughs> you know what nintendo is a little stereotypical let's go meet the ball Woo-hoo! well uh, apparently it was completely up to the guy that did the voice oh in America. really yeah i guess well yeah. i guess like it I guess originally he was talking like this, you know, he's from Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn! But he figured that would scare kids, so he... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so, I mean, nobody, nobody in the HR department of Nintendo said, we can't do that. That's fucking <laughs> racist as shit. <laughs> like, I wonder what he sounds like I'm in uh, Japanese. I wonder who does his voice in Japanese. Spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> oh, pizza pie when he falls asleep in N64, Mario 64. Yeah. <laughs> oh, spaghetti. Oh, it's just ridiculous, man. <laughs> but it, uh, it's it's absolutely like, I'm a tire today. Hey, whoa, hey, a bobbity, beebity, boobity. Hey, it's not racist, fucker. It's cute. It is. Okay. Cute. So it just kind of goes, ba- you know what? I think it all goes down to, eh. Well, then wait, maybe I'm taking my own medicine here. Because I always bitch about people not taking stuff too seriously, have a thick skin. Because, you know what, if you really want to be offended, we could always be offended at something. And we're never going to stop being angry, and that's no way to live. So, you know what? I'm changing my ways. Gilbert, you're still a dick. <laughs> and you're still stupid for even bringing that up. But you know what? I, I'm i just going to let it go, man. I'm sorry for anything I said. I'm sorry for being exactly right about profiling you and the way you look. Um, sorry yeah. about all. Speaking of, of, speaking of Gilbert, Gilbert Godfrey was in Problem Child too, so we should just oh, talk about fuck. Problem Child again. My mind's blown, dude. <laughs> anyway, are you guys, are you guys' mind blown out there? What do you think about this pointless news? Should you, you sh- maybe you just shouldn't comment on it because we don't want to fuel it because it's silly. It's absolutely just garbage and it's silly. And you know what? Just tell us what you think about Problem Child. That'd be better. <laughs> don't give this guy. Don't give Gilbert any attention. Um, do you like Problem Child one or two better? You know what? Tell it's one comments. of those things where they both have their sweet place. Yeah. Um, I think, I don't know, they're, they're both good, but no, and then also, uh, what's her face? Feminist, McFeminist. What's her name again? Anita Sarkeesian. Anita Sarkeesian, yeah. Uh, whatever. I mean, like I said, it's just one of those things, man, where I think these people feed off of that negative. Like I said, that negative publicity ends up turning into a good thing for them at the end of yep. the day. You know, infamy is still a thing. So, uh, talk amongst yourselves, talk about positivity, um, whatever, man. Rest in peace, Awada. How about that? How about that? Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's all we got for this episode. Uh, yeah, let us know what you think, btmreview.com, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Tumblr for all you kiddos out there, and, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, keep it positive. Unless you're talking about us. I mean, if you want to say Zach sucks, feel free, you know, do whatever. Now I'm treating you like your river, man. <laughs> I always do that for river, man. It's like, I love it. Because I'll, I'll say real quick before I let you guys go, we, we do um, a slew of other podcasts, and Zach himself Zach himself comes from his own podcast. Do you want to go ahead and pitch that real quick? Oh, yeah. I actually said the wrong URL last time. It's M-A-Z-S-T-W dot T-K. Oh, that's fucking catchy as shit. <laughs> Mac and Zach take the take over the world. Save off. the world. Mac and Zach save the world. That's right. We're on Facebook and all that stuff. Mac too. and Zach save the world. And we do here at btmreview.com, we do a slew of other podcasts, and it's so funny because my frequent co-host, Riverman, uh, I love it, we do our The Walking Dead podcast, and um, I love it when we get we get the most uh, feedback from that one. And Are we you get still doing most, that? We do it, and we fucking rue the day that we started it, because we still <laughs> do it, we're going to finish it, and they keep adding seasons onto that bitch, and we're so done, <laughs> but... So I, I was wondering, like, what made you think, like, that's the show to do it? with and not like Breaking Bad or something well, like that. Well, because if you remember, Zach, nobody was fucking watching Breaking Bad the first four years. It like came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. it, like It like gained its momentum in its life through Netflix. Everybody fucking started binging it and then fell in love with it. Nobody cared about it the first two years. It really, it wasn't a, it wasn't a ratings, darling. It well, was, yeah, it, was, it, it really became a great show on like the third and fourth season. No, it was a great show the whole time, but 
it was awesome the whole time, but people did Especially didn't, those seasons, though. People didn't know. It never had uh, great ratings. It had just kind of, like, enough ratings for a cable network. But it was immediate. It was a darling as far as critics. So it's one yeah. of those things where we didn't realize it. <clears throat> we were a fan of horror. We are big horror guys and, you know, the Walking Dead comics and stuff like that back in the day. So when they first announced it, we were behind it. And, of course, we I, I still love the first and second seasons. So we started early on. Little did we know, six years later... <laughs> you know the drama soap opera would become and just yada yada oh, yeah. yada but that's neither here nor there I was just going to say that you know that that one's funny because it, we get the most backlash the most uh, commentary for it and Riverman takes so much shit it's so funny <laughs> and I and I take it upon myself to read it all so did, <laughs> is, are you guys all still hating the show or has it gotten better no well, the thing is is I'm fair the thing is about the walking dead we're really getting off the beaten path here but uh, I figure we might as well since it's only going to be like a uh, five minute episode. Nah, you know. Well, the, the thing about The Walking Dead, I'll close it off with this. Um, when it's good, it's really good. When it's bad, it's really pointless and bad. The thing is, is usually half the season ends up being good and half of it being shit. And it's like so, like the 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 premiere is going to be really good, and then the mid season finale is going to be good. The mid season premiere is going to be good. And then, like, the last two episodes are going to be good. That's, like, five episodes. So that means you have five absolute shit episodes in the middle there. And they're usually clumped, like, back yeah. to back. And it's just... That's, oh that's actually what I've been hearing people say it's, since... Uh, it's become so predictable. Like, you know the episodes that are going to be good. Yeah. You literally... And the thing is, is they're fucking pointless. All the episodes in the middle, they, they, they could sum every... They could sum the five episodes of filler in one episode. And they yeah. just drag it out. So, I mean, literally... You could watch, I say, watch the premieres, watch the mid-season finale, the mid-season premiere, and the uh, last two episodes, something like that, and just r- catch up online what the fluff was about, and you'll be just fine. It's, mm-hmm. it's really that stupid. But anyway, so definitely check out all our podcasts out there, um, btmreview.com. You can find all the stuff. Until then, happy moaning and groaning about silly people getting media attention. I'm Aaron. I'm Zach. Thank you, guys.